What is space? Hmm. That's a good question. What is space? Huh. Well, space is something undefined, I would say. And we can define it by uh, many factors. But I think space is something uh, essential. It's uh, like water. Water is uh, essential. And you can do a lot of things with water. Or water takes a big role in food, when we drink something, etc. So I think space is something essential. Uh, that's what I think. <clears throat> if we now, if we look what NASA is doing up there in in the upper space, is they try to discover, explore space and doing experiments up there uh, so they have actually up there in the upper sky a room an extended room where they can play around and figuring things out in the space uh, experimenting trying to discover things searching up there so it's it looks like it's an endless thing and uh, if I look now here in this room, right here, is, there is also space and there is a lot of things I can play with, I can discover, I can uh, analyze, I can uh, discover things out, I can experiment, I can, you know, uh, analyze discover so here is also space but it's limited space so it's actually a room but it's a room I can play I can uh, discover I can experiment I can uh, uh, analyze things I in this limited room I can do the same thing what NASA does in the in the in the, in the space in their extended space room but they have uh, obviously a much much larger space to discover, to uh, experiment and to analyze things and they're free to do whatever they want to do up there. And here in this room I can actually do also the same thing. I can experiment, analyze, discovering things out but this room is, as you see, is actually very limited but it's also a little bit space I can uh, uh, discover and experiment and uh, analyze and uh, yeah and when I just look at the paper that paper here is also another version of space which is smaller than the space I'm sitting in here in this room I think it's it's a A5 or A6 form this is also space right here it's actually also very limited and you can actually don't like doing a practicing action or you, you cannot walk around on the paper or you cannot uh, 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 put things on the paper and discover an experiment but what you can do is actually on this space uh, which is the third form of space I would say one of the little ones is I think the last visual visual grasping of space because the next space is in here which you cannot see right but you can express it on that paper with words you got that little space you can express yourself your discoveries your uh, uh, analyzing things your uh, experiments you can write actually down on these little eight eight I think it's eight eight four size format paper so this is space where it's it's I know it, this this room or this little space is smaller than this room I'm sitting in but I can actually walk around uh, uh, grabs uh, gra uh, uh, you know uh, uh, grab something and put it from here over there uh, and I have a little 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 bitty uh, area to move around in space and 
the next bigger version is like I said before NASA they have endless space up there so they have really free they can be creative they can developing themselves up there they can analyze discover everything in the space so this is actually then this so we have that space in, in what uh, in the upper space NASA they have a room a lot of huge infinite room to uh, explore discover to experiment to developing and then we have the another version of space which is actually the planet Earth but it's divided space in cities or in countries or in groups or in locals etc and then we have the next smaller space uh, which is this room right here uh, you cannot do a lot but uh, you have a little freedom to uh, move around and then the next smaller uh, um, room space I would say is this, is this piece of paper you cannot walk around on that space and you can actually just write things down or draw on it and I think the next the next smaller space room to experiment to discover to analyze is actually your mind which is in here so this is actually the smallest space which is at the same time it sounds paradox the biggest space like like uh, uh, the NASA doing up there in, in this infinite space in the in the upper space which you see in the sky so space is something really it's a room it's a I think space needs to we need space to developing ourselves and I think space is all is an essential element as a essential tool to experiment to analyze to discovery to, to flower yourself in, in, in space which I think that space is is actually almost taken from us away physically because everything is uh, there's a, a fence there's a wall there's a room there's a door there's a law there is a so space is very formed deformed and formed and uh, and I think you need, you know, to feel free, you need space to develop. Free, you know, it's all somehow connected for some reason. And uh, uh, it's, it's amazing that it, it's all somehow by uh, developing, uh, it's always somehow in three what happens in the in, in, in the in the in the sky in the universe it happened that the same thing happens in the planet earth and the same thing happens in the human being so it's always like three somehow right and uh, I think space is a very essential tool and instrument to, to developing to experimenting to uh, but it's our space is so reduced down that you really actually just think all the time about it or uh, and f making all these things in here and developing and experimenting and uh, discovering and analyzing and they gave you a, a little freedom or they give you a little piece which is this and it's actually space it's nothing on it so you can write everything down so writing is a tool mathematic is a tool is an instrument so that allows you to express your uh, thoughts and theories on a piece of paper and I bet that piece of paper that space in here is actually belongs to somebody else but I don't know who so uh, that's uh, space space is something that belongs to everyone you know but we always dividing it we dividing it we dividing it we di dividing it and then we are always between the dividing things and then we look to the to, to the left and there's the left and we look to the right and there is the right we look up then it's up and we look down then uh, there's down so we already are re real recognize that we are actually captured in a kind of a cube that looks like an invisible wall but a uh, yeah so space is a very interesting thing and I think that You need space to express yourself. You need space to develop yourself. And not space in certain areas or in certain uh, 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 um, field. You need, because I think that every human being 
has a lot of gifts to discover things, to analyzing. And it's, it seems to me that only certain, that there's only certain, I don't know, a certain era or certain areas, certain fields, certain uh, 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 space, certain rooms, where only certain people are allowed to experimenting, to discovering, to analyzing, and those other people who have the same know-how or whatnot are actually don't have access to those things, to those instruments or to those things to discover and uh, things out. So <clears throat> space is actually for me like water. You know, water is pure. It belongs to everyone because we are part of water and the same thing I think is with space. Space should be for everyone. You know, you need space to uh, uh, to, f to feel free to develop yourself, to experiment, to analyze, to discovering things. You need, it's, it's you know, it's like, but what we do is somehow we divide space in little squares and then it becomes a, a two bedroom three bedroom apartment or a house whatnot so everything we divide everything smaller and smaller and smaller since we have then a, maybe a one single room and the only thing you can use a space is reading books or and papers and pen and you can write all everything what you have discovered and analyzed in your mind you can express it on a piece of papers and words and certain and a lot of words are copyrighted or belongs to anyone so i think freedom should be space i know there is i think there is a, a, a a slogan or a, 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 a phrase that says freedom of speech and freedom of speech it makes now a sense what I'm trying here to explain now because I think we should have much much more freedom than just for speech we have to have freedom to act to take action to develop not only for speaking you know it's because that's that's really actually the, the smallest space they give to you is to speak, you know. I think, you know, it should be freedom of acting, discovering new ways, new opportunities, new... And not reducing everything down, on, uh, using all space down into, in, into a speech and then we fight for freedom for that little speech. You know, it should be more than that, you know. It's, Space belongs to everyone. We all part of it and everyone should have uh, the right to do action, the right to discover things, the right to experiment things, the right to uh, analyze things, you know, because everybody is, is, is a high intelligent person, you know. It's not just low science, uh, scientists or physicists you know or you've seen from books, whatever. I, I guess there are a lot of unknown physicists or unknown scientists they may be like 16 years old or maybe they are 84 years old but never been recognized as a physicist or a scientist or whatnot so it's like really that only certain people are have access or allowed to 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 step into this area you know yeah so space is so much reduced down that we fight for that slogan freedom of speech and we should be have more freedom than just speech you know we have to have freedom to sit together to develop to discover to uh, analyze and i mean by that everybody you know not, not just certain peoples right so i think uh yeah so these are just my thoughts about space <laughs> well then